I'm going to do an exercise for American Mahjong using the National Mahjong League card. This exercise is called Charleston Modeling. We're gonna practice decision-making after creating a mock Charleston to simulate that part of the game so we can practice hand development. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. Three, two, one. We're going to do this exercise three times and we'll alternate between dealer and non-dealer. So we'll get 14 tiles, then 13 tiles, and then 14 tiles. And I'll create a mock Charleston with no jokers for each one. We have a pair of flowers. Red dragon, one, seven, eight in dots, pair one. Two, three, four, nine in bams with a pair of twos. Five, nine in cracks. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I would focus on multiples, which would be either the one dot or maybe the two bam together. We might even be able to do two, three, four with flowers. So I think that's what I would do. Let's see, for passing, I think what I would do here Maybe pass those three, and then we're left with these three, just in case we get everything we want. Let's see what happens. Whoa, I don't think anyone would ever pass something like that. At least I hope not. White dragon, one, five. We have three tiles to pass there. Two, three, four, five. Five, right here, five, five, two, three, three, four, five, five. There's a hand in there, but I'd like to leverage this. We could do three, four, five, five. Let's see, two, three, four, five. Let's break up the ones. We might be able to do a year hand. Flower, four bam, three, four, five, five, two, three, four, two, three, four, five, white dragon. Let's let the white dragon go. A two and a five and a three, wow. Okay, we have all keepers, two through five. We can't keep it all. Here's two, three, four, five. That would use two multiples. We could also maybe play three, four, five, five, and there's a pung of flowers in there. I think that's what I would do. So I'd break up the two and pass these three and keep going. We did right across left. So here's left across right. We could stop the Charleston, but if you're in between hands, it's better to keep going. So for example, we could do two bam, three, four. We could really keep it all and stop the Charleston, but we're in between. It's better to keep going, in my opinion. 
So let's see what happens. We got a keeper and I would just break up that too. This is a little bit risky, but we have a hand with no gaps. Three, four, five, five flowers. We need a five crack. Two, three, four, nine. Let's pass these three. No keepers. Three, four, five. Pung of flowers. I would not be tempted with these sixes. So for example, if we get one of the twos, we could do single pair pung, kong, kong. I suppose we could keep that six and let these three go. But we're passing six, seven, and one suit. Here we're passing three, six, and one suit. Either way, it's going to be risky. So I think I would do it this way. Nines, seven, nine, six, there, four discards. We have four discards and a hand with no gaps. That was a really good Charleston. Pair, pair. We could Kong here, Pung here. We need one good pick. I'd say we'd be a contender for this hand. If you would have done something differently with those tiles, write it in the comment section below with pull one. We have a flower, a pair of white dragons, a seven crack, two, six, seven, eight in dots, pair eight, two, eight, seven, nine in bams. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I'd focus on the white dragons and the pair of eights. And I very rarely pass flowers. So I would try to find a hand that uses these. Maybe we could play two, four, six, eight concealed. We could maybe play seven, eight dragon. Here's seven, eight, nine. That is in this range here, seven, eight, nine but that would leave us with twos. I would not pass two twos. So maybe to get us going in the Charleston, I would pick those for passing and start here. We have eights, seven, eight, dragon, two, four, six, eight, dragon. Let's see what happens. We got an eight, like numbers with eights. Maybe let that go. 888 eight, eight, dragon. And eight. Oh, look, we got a four. Two, four, six, eight. Two, four, six, eight. So let's see. Let's pass one of each suit right here. We've got nines, two, four, six, eight, dragon, no gaps. Let's pass these three. A flower. We did get a seven dot. Oh, look, like numbers, but we have all keepers here. We're going across, we have to pass. So we have to risk it. No keepers.
No keepers. Two, three. Year tiles. Hmm. I don't think I would risk passing that. Like numbers with threes in the in 2023. That would be really risky. I think I would just pass two. No keepers. We got year tiles. So three discards and a hand with no gaps. We do have two weaknesses here. These need to be pairs. But that was a pretty good Charleston. Three discards. I'd say we'd be a contender here, but we'd have to really be careful with these two right here. If you would have done something differently with these tiles, write pull two in the comment section below and let me know what you would have done with these tiles. Flower North 2 9, pair 2 in cracks, 1 5 7 in bands, 3 4 5 6 8 in dots with a pair of sixes. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I would focus on the multiples, two, six. Those are evens, so I would probably keep all the evens. Two, six, two, four, six, eight. As a plan B, I think I would keep middle tiles. Three, four, five, six. And I'd probably let that go with a one and a seven, maybe the one nine different suits. Okay, so we're playing either evens or three, four, five, six. We got sevens. There's another multiple. Five, seven, three, four, five, six, eight, seven. All right, I would reassess. Here's three, four, five, six, dragon. There's a corresponding dragon there. We have two. Let's see. I think I would let those go. Two, seven, three, four, five, six, eight. Two, six, eight. I wouldn't pass a seven. I think what I would do is break up the twos. Without a four in the that suit, we can't do two, four, crack, six, eight, for example. This might be better to do something consecutive. Three through seven. Let's break that up. We have a six. North with twos. Twos. Three, four, five, six, eight, six, seven. Three, four, five, six, six, seven. Since we don't have a two dot, I think I would probably let this go. Okay, we have a three. Three, four, five, six, dragon. Nine dot. Five band, five, six, seven, three, four, five, six, seven, three, four, five, six, three, four, five, six, three, four, five, six. I guess I would break up the seven. Okay, now we have an eight. North seven, I think I would stick with this right here. 
No keepers. We got fours. Four, five, six, three, four, five, six, four, five, six. I think I would let these go. <gasps> Red dragon pear. I really hope no one would ever pass a pair like that. I would not pay that forward. I'd probably, let's see, we have three, four, five, six. I think I would let this four bam go and focus on these two multiples here. No keepers. All right, we have six discards and a hand with no gaps. The concealed consecutive hand. We would be an underdog on this one. We have two pair. We could maybe play the second hand down in one suit. I would just start by discarding those and focus on this run. If you would do something differently, write it in the comment section below. The Charleston is a powerful part of the game. This is where the transformation happens. If you make the right decisions at the right time, you can set yourself up for success going into the pick and discard phase of the game. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.